It's really a country where tradition meets modernity. So I'm happy to, again, that the consulate, along with the Zaiterian, which is a re really relevant cultural reference, not only of the city, but the region, and also with the other organizations, the Prince Henry Society, the clubs Madeira uh, Sacramento, uh, the Day of Portugal, I'm uh, very, very happy to partner and to um, help bring this exciting project to New Bedford. It's going to be a project to be enjoyed by all in the streets before a beautiful concert by, by, by Christina Branco, a great fado singer. So I think we're going to have a great, great moment here. Thank you. I'm supposed to introduce also uh, Michael Tavares, who is the current president of the Prince Henry Society. Thank you, Pedro. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Um, my name is Michael Tavares, and I'm here today as a Zaiterian board member, a local business owner of a thriving company, a first-generation Portuguese descendant, and the president of the Prince Henry Society, New Bedford chapter. I am very proud to be part of this first-time collaboration between the major Portuguese cultural institutions in our community and the Zaiterian Theater. <clears throat> Each of our organizations is a strong member of our Portuguese community, and we are very pleased to be working together to present this first ever Viva Portugal in conjunction with the Z. Viva Portugal is a unique event that will showcase the full spectrum of our work to preserve Portuguese culture here in New Bedford. The Portuguese culture is what is part of what makes New Bedford special and distinctive. And this collaboration also holds a very personal aspect to me. As a young child growing up uh, close to my grandparents, I was brought up listening to father music and never, of course, appreciated it until I found myself away from home uh, on my own at college where I found myself purchasing my first father CD by Amalie Friedrich and, uh, and it cured a little bit of the homesickness. But, uh, and at the same time, fast forward many years later, my family company and I have been able to sponsor many spectacular father shows here at the Zaiterian, and it's just you know a, a tremendously special uh, circumstance for us to be a part of. And another interesting fact is that the first ever field trip I went on as a, as a little kid was here at the Zaiterian. So <laughs> there's a lot of history here for me, and there's a lot of connecting with my Portuguese culture, culture and my childhood. And uh, it's extremely important for me to support not only the further uh, education of my Portuguese culture, but also my community here. And couldn't uh, have chosen better partners to do it so with than uh, the Club SS Sacramento. And uh, just want to acknowledge the President Dave Lucio here behind me, who's a very good friend. Uh, and also, some that aren't here today, Carlos Pinhas, who's the President of the Day of Portugal. Uh, Sarah Quintel, president of the Azorian Maritime Heritage Society Group, and also Peter Hughes, uh, president of the Zaiterian Board of Trustees here. So uh, it is with a, a great honor for me that we participate in this program, and I can only imagine it's going to be nothing less than spectacular, and uh, hopefully you'll all be there as well. Thank you very much. <laughs> 